Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a cheesy horror movie burrito, the YouTube show where we look at the cheesiest of horror films from the good, the bad, and the nail gun massacre. I'm your host Kendall, your cheesy horror explorer, and the topic of today's episode is 1992 Demonic Toys, produced by Full Moon Entertainment, who also produced these guys. The Puppet Master series, and yes, there was a crossover years before Marvel thought about doing it. Hey guys, before we get into the movie, I need your help here. I need your guys' help growing my channel. If you like what you hear, man, click that like and subscribe button. It goes so far in helping to grow the channel. If you have any feedback for me, by all means, put it in those comments below. Let's get to it. Okay, so we open with these two. This is Judith and Matt. They're new lovers who are also undercover police officers that just moved in together. Kind of sounds like a bad sitcom plot, right? While waiting for the big bus to come through, Judith feels now is the best time for this. Now that you mention it, maybe we should get married. Oh. Do you want kids? It's a trap! You know, Matt, sometimes you don't pick up on things right away. I'm a lesbian. Are you pregnant? I found out this morning. Hey, who wants to play a game? Woo! Okay, here it goes. Things that you can say at an undercover black market gun bust and to a tender date. Are you going to show us something? Or are you going to stand here and jerk us off all night? Well, the shit hits the fan. This guy gets shot and so does Matt. Oh, shit. oh, baby, no! Oh, my God! They killed Kenny! You bastards! And off into the toy warehouse they run. In the process of dying, he bleeds on the magical part of the floor that activates the demonic toys. Don't question it, just go with it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Judith tracks down the other crook, but somehow manages to get them locked in a room together. What's going on, ladies? We're locked in. Oh, that's fucking brilliant! And now we get a shot of the security guard ordering dinner from DoorDash. Legs and breasts, none of that wingy shit. And bring me plenty of honey for my fucking roll this time. You assholes always skimp on that. Would you like that extra crispy or chunk style? Hey, take a guess. Uh, chunk style. That's my boy. Now get off your fucking ass and bring me my food. Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne? Is that a cigarette in your mouth? No. It's your dick. Oh man, burn. Ooh. I mean, I mean maybe. I don't I don't know really. You just know he rides around at night yelling, Check out my giant cock from the window. Judith gets an idea and decides that she's going to discharge her weapon to get someone's attention. This sends the security guard and Mark, the chicken delivery guy, searching. There ain't nothing in this place to steal except some goddamn old toys. So then why the security guard? They find the cop and her prisoner. She asks him to go back to the office and dial 911. Call the Jackson Precinct, all right? My name's Gray. Tell him there's an officer down. Let him know that it's a code 30, all right? Right. On his way to the office, he gets attacked by the demonic toys. I'm baby Oopsie Daisy. You lord ass. Will you be my special friend? That's how Facebook should send friend requests. I can't even shit my pants. Huh? <gasps> can you shit your pants? Um, is this a challenge? <laughs> And now he's dead. Somebody want to tell me what the fuck is going on here? It's the toys. Someone's inside the toys. Thank God, somebody to explain the plot. Who are you? My name's Anne. It's the toys. They're alive. Toys? Toys, did you see what they did to Charnetsky? Jesus Christ, they tore them apart! Quiet! Gentlemen, I don't believe any of this 
shit. So the plan is for these two to escape into what are the cleanest air ducts ever. Meanwhile, Judith starts to hear voices. They're coming from the dollhouse. Here, Judith. And now she's teleported inside. She meets our main villain, the evil demon named... Um, uh, hold on, let me check my notes. Um, uh, we'll call him the kid. Where are we? Inside the doll's house. It's part of the astral plane. This is where I live. Who are you? A spirit. Just like your little friend said. You look like a little boy to me. Oh? I can take any form I want to. I can be this. Oh! <laughs> you know what I really want, Judith? A body to hang my soul in. You see, in order for me to take on a human form, I have to be born like a human. At the moment of birth, I ride shotgun down the old birth canal, and I come out instead, Judith. Or should I call you mom? Thank God, somebody else to explain the plot. Well, Mark and Ann finally make it to the office, but they get attacked by the demonic toys, and poor Ann doesn't survive. Thanks for coming. Judith wakes up to see that her prisoner has gone. Damn, was his neck made out of like paper mache or something? demonic toy Charge! and the demonic toys are taken out by bullets mm, yeah that's anticlimactic Oh shit, it formed a giant bear zord. Hi, Jude. So, Judith gets tricked and caught, and here we are. Oh, who wants to play another game? Okay, okay, guys, here goes. Okay, things you can say at a demonic ritual and to a tender date. First, I'm gonna crawl on top of you and do the nasty. I've waited 66 years for this. <laughs> to get laid? The good soldier is here. He morphs into a little boy. <laughs> And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is our big third act fight scene. Two 12 year olds going at it. It's okay now, Mom. Everything's okay. We won. Who are you? I'm your son. Oh, they totally ripped off Nightmare on Elm Street 5 with this. It's over, isn't it? 
And that will bring Demonic Toys to an end. Folks, again, if you like what you hear, please click the like and subscribe button. Help me grow the channel. The Summer of Cheese marches forward, and stay cheesy out there.